you know, on a personal level, not just for myself, but for the guys in there, the way they work on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and from that faith level of believing every single day, every single game, you still have a setback. And then finally, we finally break through that. So on a personal level, it's one of those things to where when guys see that and you build that metal of learning how to believe in spite of, those are the things that can take you to a championship. Now, we know it's just one game, but it's a mindset that guys understand that we were as close as we thought we were sometimes. We just had to find a way to dig and find that fight, and uh, guys did that. Uh, going into the bye is definitely a positive, you know, in, uh, in order to win a football game, especially, you know, it's not just like we just won one and lost a couple. You know, we've lost several, and to win that one, the biggest thing it does is, is, is give hope back to you that, you know, hey, you know what, we can't get this done. And now that we see that, you know, that was huge, but even more so, you know, for Mac to have the type of game that he had and for him to stay poised and pull it out regardless of, you know, I know we got several quarterbacks running around and I'm thankful to have as many in the building as we have, but it was one of those things as a coach, you know, I know how hard he prepares, no different than myself and everyone else, and I wanted him to have a level of success tonight, and he did have that to prove to himself, and I think that's the finest moment in his career, that game, um, you know, not just him, but S.J. Green, you know, the way S.J. Green, you know, hey, we, we know that he hadn't been getting the ball and different things hadn't working out, but it worked to his favor on tonight and uh, when his number was called, those Hall of Fame hands answered. The, the way you guys won, you're down 20, driving, fumble, defense holds, you guys scored. So does that does that kind of fuel the team, you, you think? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, with the Chris Rainey return, there's a lot of things that went our way, you know, and I'm very thankful for that. And, uh, it's pro football. It's not like uh, we're playing a Division Three. I mean, Division One school, and we're Division Three or something like that. Like U.S. ball, it's pro football. We have good football players. Um, you know, is there still work to do? Of course. But like I've said all the time, there's going to be mistakes in the game, but it's how you learn how to capitalize and come back from them. And I think that's what that that streak did for us. Like I told the guys, is you know that storm tested us. Uh, it, it, it taught us to believe in one another. You know, it taught us how to fight, and, and told them tonight was about learning how to finish. And they did learn how to finish, and, and I appreciate every man in that room and everyone that's had a part of uh, us growing into the team that we were tonight. Coach, the Jamal, the Jamal Campbell touchdown, just wondering who drew that one up. It's been working the last couple yeah. of weeks. So, you know, there was one of those to where it worked, you know, in the sense that they uh, they stopped us, and then we throw it to him, and I saw him, and when I saw it, I knew what the play was, and I saw it in his hands, and I'm like, oh, hell. <laughs> but, you know, he's a basketball player, and I think that's what you want is to, uh, you know, it, it takes all of us to win. And uh, he played his part. He's another guy that's you know worked his tail off, and that was an opportunity that he'll he he took advantage of, and, and it's something he'll work with. What is it about this offense that kind of plays well under pressure too? I mean, you saw that when they were driving there at the you know, first half, getting that touchdown, and then to win the game here. I mean, it kind of almost seems you guys play better when there's a run on your side. And yeah, you know, a time crunch. You know, I I think you know um, I think what we are right now is we're learning how to play ball. I thought. You know, you can see there was one time when we had those negative plays in terms of the penalties and different things like that that set us back. Um, and that happens in the game, but, you know, at halftime those guys are talking about we got to finish. Let's put away all the negative things and all the mistakes. And the biggest thing is um, we talked earlier in the week about this team being able to step up and grow up. That was the message. And uh, tonight we stepped up and grew up. Two bad, things in, two bad things in the first half. Harris was running loose. And you were taking penalties. Yeah. What did you say in the dressing room? Uh, well, you know, I, you know, I didn't lose it on them. Like anything else is, you know, um, and really I didn't have to say much. It was really the players that took over, and they knew that. Um, I can remember Darby saying, "No more missed tackles, no more penalties, and things like that." SJ took over, and those guys, uh, they took over and, and went from there. You know, I can't remember what I said at halftime, but it had something along the lines of the "Finish, and this will be your finest moment." And uh, you know, it'll be something that'll be remembered forever for those guys that. Uh, have worked the way they did over the last X amount of weeks. For a team to play well, the rookies have to show up. Yeah. Dowling showed up for you today. Yeah, and, and he's had some experience, but he did some good things. You know, Dark Dowling's a super smart football player. And, uh, you know, it was his time to go on. You know, the unique thing also was we made a late one minute scratch with Fogg not playing and putting Ham on. He was out talking to, um, he was out talking to, uh, um, the, the ex quarterback here, I can, I, I can see him. Da um, what's his name? Damon, um, Damon Allen. Damon, Damon Allen. Allen, excuse me. He started talking to Damon because he didn't think he was playing. He had to run and get him and say, No, you got to play. You know, so he, so it was one of those things to where that was another challenge, but it didn't phase us. He came in and did a good job. So guys stepped up. They played, you know, they played well enough to win the game. 
have we played well enough and win a game in the past? Yeah, we just didn't win. But tonight we found a way to win it. What happened to Falk, uh, Corey? Uh, he, he, he just felt a, a, a little tweak in his leg, and he, and he didn't think he was going to be able to go. And, uh, you know, it was unfortunate. But, you know, it truly was the next guy up in Hamilton has been prepared. So um, it's in his bloodline. So I'm just happy to have him victory. Coach, despite the, the Harris touchdown there, your defensive line, I thought, played fairly well throughout the course of the game, especially later on, kind of getting pressure and nickels over the back. Can you touch on your D yeah, line? They were limping, too. I mean, <laughs> they all, they, I think Cleon had his knee hit on a cut block, and I think I saw um, Sean go down at one point. I saw uh, – I, I, I saw Bishop go down at one point. I'm like, man, what the hell are we going to run? <laughs> but uh, those guys kept fighting, man. They kept fighting because they wanted it. You know, and I'm sure they're going to be sore as heck the next couple of days. But they wanted it. They found a way to get some pressure. You know, last time we played them, we found a way to get pressure on them as well. So, uh, you know, that was some, some – I think guys had a little bit of confidence because of that last game when we played them. We thought we were all pretty okay. You know, uh, you know, Harris is a different maker. They had some check downs to him, and I thought that's what kept them alive. Mm -hmm. uh, we got out of man coverage, started going some zone, and on the last couple of zones, Abdul and Dallin, being super smart players, they changed the coverage on me. But nevertheless, it worked. So, um, and they have that freedom to do that because you know they're taking that next step in the defense. Um, but I thought that was huge. You know, just just seeing everybody elevate and. Uh, Coach, yeah, you talked move, about moving moving forward with Zach being here. Where where do you stand with your quarterback? Oh man, I, I'm going by me. We'll think about that when we get there. We just won a game. I mean, Zach's in the building, uh, Frank's in the building, Max in the building, and they all in the building. And, and, and I, I look forward to them being in the building. And, and when we get back, you know, um, we'll we'll make decisions on what we're going to do going forward. But uh, right now, you know, hey, Matt won the game, and, and going to the next one. I has to prepare to win the next one. Speaking Coach, of being in the building, Chaptain usually is on the sideline. Yeah. Tonight he was up yeah. in the building. Mm -hmm. yeah. What brought that on? Uh, he, he didn't want to see Frank. Frank's like a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? We're, we're trying all avenues to get a change, man. And hopefully just to be able to see it with a different perspective. And it um, looks like he was able to see some things up there. You know, and I thought that was good, you know, uh, and clean for him to see the big big picture. Um, I know he's been on the sideline for a number of years, and, uh, you know, we had conversations, and we thought that would be the, the biggest thing for him to see it. And, and, you know, hey, it worked for us. So, you know, moving forward, we hope to continue that trend and um, things working in our direction. Coach, you talked about going into that uh, half having that mindset. Seems like this season there's been a, a couple things that have gone wrong going into the half, whether it be, you know, an opportunity to score a touch on a field goal or a turnover. That drive there, talk about how – that sort of impacted the rest of the game instead of, you know, maybe <coughs> six, it was 20 to 10 being down by two scores like that. you talking about at the end of the last drive? Uh, at the end of the first half. Oh, man, I can't remember back that far. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise you I can't. Um, you know, I'd have to look at it. But I just know, you know, the one thing about it is there were several stops in the game defensively. And, I, you know, I can just remember uh, the rainy and different things like that. And I just think it, it, it all culminated to uh, that last drive at the end. And, uh like I said, it, the biggest thing is going in. What are we going in? Twenty ten? Yep. Is that yep. what it is? So we went in twenty ten, you know, and then quickly I think it, it got to a tie game or whatever. In my mind, I'm thinking different things. I know some guys wanted me to go for it on the touchdown, but I went for the three, you know, and uh, it looked like it was the right decision there. And uh, just real pleased at what we what we were able to accomplish together. Thank you.